What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We got no gap gear, some frostfell items, and much, much more to talk about in this news video. Let's get into it. All right, first up, we have this little bit of no gap gear right here. People have been waiting for for quite a while since they first saw it, I would assume. Uh, you can see it's got the classic uh, design hand there. Uh, this probably isn't the finished version of it. Well, you can tell it isn't. This isn't the AQW version. That's not what it's going to look like exactly in game. It'll probably look a little bit more like that. Uh, although that isn't the official version of it. It'd be really cool if it looked like that. But it probably won't. And we don't have a male version of it yet, of course. Because it's still... Uh, we got next this Friday, next Friday. And it's coming out the Friday after to the limited quantity shop. Elena also confirmed that Nogath will be working on gear for his birthday. So I think we might have had a few years where he wasn't really doing items for his birthday. They call it Nogath gear, but it wasn't really that. Uh, another artist made it. So this year, uh, we're definitely going to get some Nogath gear for his birthday, which is in January, if you didn't know. All right, I haven't seen any news about this. I don't know if the winner was contacted or not, but if you did uh, buy something in November... Uh, make sure you check your email, the email that you made your AQ account with, and uh, see if you won the custom weapon contest. Also, they'll be drawing for December uh, soon, so keep an eye on your emails, guys. Uh, make sure that you don't miss an email saying you want a custom weapon. A-Ranks is showing a brand new helmet for Fosfell, a little candy cane design on the helmet. It's a very low-res picture, so I can't really zoom into it that much, but I'm sure you can see it right there. Elena tweeted out a uh, reindeer pulling equivalent in a uh, sleigh full of presents. Uh, really cute little bank pet there that will be coming out for Fosfell. I made a version of it with red noses, which I, <laughs> I thought it needed. So, you know, it'd be cool to have two versions of it maybe, but probably not. I showed the male version of this armor before in a previous uh, news video and it looked a little worse than this, let's be honest. I think uh, he took some of the criticism and changed it so it looks, uh, in my opinion, better than it did before. Still, I don't know why there's fur on the bottom of the leg there and the shoe looks very odd for the AQW style. Uh, but other than that, I love the uh, the top half is great. I, I, if I were making this armor I would definitely make some changes to the bottom half still but it looks a lot better than it did before. An armor version of a previous Frostfell boss was made by A-Ranks so we might see this as a boss drop or something this year. It'd be actually fitting if they added it to the old boss. We might actually see this this Friday uh, who knows because we don't have any info on what the event will be for uh, tomorrow other than we're getting a quibble. More on that later. Kremong with a sneak peek of one of his upcoming armors. Looks kind of Frostfell themed. And if we look at Asuka's character page, you can see the actual version of it in game right there. So it might be coming out soon because it's already in the game. Now, I don't know if I put this in the last news video, so uh, apo I apologize if I did and I'm wasting your time. But Baido made a very cool reindeer themed Christmas set that I just had to show. And if I have to show it twice, it's not a not a big deal because it looks really cool. So that will probably be coming out very, very soon. An evil claw suit. Uh, I hope there's a version that doesn't have the goggle for the hat because that hat looks kind of cool. And if it was white, it would look even better. But uh, yeah, hopefully they do like a different version of that hat. But the claw suit for evil is right there if you're wondering what that looked like. Oh boy. I, I feel like we've been here before. Deja vu. Well, a 10k chest, the third one ever in Adventure Quest Worlds. Now, the previous two were, I bought the previous two, okay? Uh, now, looking back on those purchases, would I have bought them again if I was uh, to go back in time? The answer is yes to the vampire one and no to the dragonborn naval one. I wouldn't have bought the naval one again. I didn't use a lot of the navels in that, and yeah, I would have probably just bought the individual armors instead of actually buying the whole chest. And I think I'm not going to buy this one looking at the uh, items that are going to be included in it. Now, the only item, well, there's a f actually a few like accessories and stuff, but the only like big item that we haven't seen yet in this. And keep in mind, a third of the value is in this one item. So if you don't want this item, that is a third of the 15,000 worth of gear 
gone. So it's only 10,000 worth of gear if you remove this item because this item will cost 5,000 AC separately and we haven't seen it yet. So hopefully they show it before they actually release this in game so you can see whether or not that's worth it because that is a third of the value right there. But yeah, uh, they're also including a seasonal bank pad in it, which you could already own. So hypothetically, if you didn't want the ultra top hat, if that wasn't something you're interested in, if you don't want a top hat stacked on top of a top hat to infinity of lag, uh, if you didn't want that item and you already had the quibble seasonal bank pet, it would actually be less value to buy the chest than it would be to buy every item separately. Uh, I, I added it up and I rounded it and all that, so it's not an exact number, but it'd be worth about 9k ACs if you remove the Ultra Top Hat, if that's something you're not interested in. And if you already have the Quibble Bank Pet, it'd be worth about 9,000 ACs uh, worth of gear in the 10,000 AC chest. So keep that in mind before you purchase it. Uh, there is also an exclusive item, you can see that on the screen right there. That's the exclusive pet there. There are There's also a, a version with just that guy, uh, which will have a quest for a badge. So if you're interested in that, you can get that. And uh, yeah, there's also a Paragon pet in it, a Paragon bank pet. It's not an actually, it's not actually a farming pet. I don't know if we're gonna get a token farming pet for this Frostfell. Hopefully, uh, I think we did last Frostfell, uh, so hopefully we get one again this year. Uh, it'd be kind of weird if we didn't. And it says bank pet here, so who knows whether or not they're actually gonna release a paragon pet for legion token farming also they should because lots of people buy those and people uh, buy acs just to buy the paragon pets so hopefully they do uh yeah that's about my thoughts on that uh just keep in mind the uh, price of the items before and whether or not you want every item before you buy a 10k chest and uh yeah and the exclusive item doesn't have any null gaff quests on it or anything like that so you don't have to be worried about missing out on quests it's just a visual item so yeah that is all of the news we have for this week. If I missed anything that you guys think I should have covered in this video, leave it down in the comment section so other people can see it. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think of this video. I'll see you guys all tomorrow where we'll stream and we'll check out the Quibble Shop and all that stuff uh, tomorrow. Also, the 6000 AC uh, calendar class is going to be in game purchasable for Adventure Coins. So if you want to purchase the calendar class in game, that will be out tomorrow. Uh, also, yeah, that's, that's about all the news we have for this week. I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace. I was just about to hit render on the video and I see Elena tweet out, or Elena, I always say Elena, I don't know why, uh, Elena tweet that I think Nolgeth's birthday release would be a very suitable time to add something like that. Uh, Xtroid asked, I was hoping there'd be at least one quest to help players farm dark crystal shards quickly rip to that uh and then elena says that there will be something like that for nolgas birthday i guess the nolgas birthday hype train is pulling up to the station everyone get on board i'll see you guys all in the next one peace